Hello, welcome to another video by Mox Marine. In this video, I want to discuss an engine part called a melanized distributor gear. So in 1996, the V8s, the 5.0 and the 5.7s, the 4.3s were not included, but the uh, this 5.0, 5.7, probably 6.2, not sure about the 454s, but uh, these were what's called a melanized distributor gear. This is a melanized gear. The melanized gear is identified because it has like a, a sort of a dimple pattern on it, or a, a, I call it a measly pattern. It's got a lot of like, a, looks like a lot of little tiny little bumps or, or pimples or whatever you want to call it on this uh, gear. But uh, you can see that gear pattern, uh, that wear pattern, it's very smooth and very uh, uh, almost like polished. And what this process does, melanizing does, is it uh, is a surface hardening process that makes the surface harder so it wears better. And so you can see that the wear on this gear is very smooth, it's very it's a very small wear pattern, and it's very, um, it's not very striated. Um, so this is a, the, a, long, a longer lasting gear. So this is the cam. This is the L31 truck cam. It, that distributor I just showed you came on this cam here. Um, so we can find the wear. Let's see. So if you see the wear on this gear, on this cam, where's that? Try to get a better picture. See, the wear is not very wide. It's very thin, uh, very small, small around the wear. And this, this cam and distributor probably have over, at least over 100,000 miles on it. That's 100,000 miles of wear right there. So the melanized gear lasts much, much longer on the uh, 1996 later camshafts than earlier. <clears throat> so when I sell a kit for a V8, a 5.0 or 5.7 for a 1996 or later engine, um, and I, I can find out from the serial number of the engine, the Mercury serial number, I always include a melanized gear. It costs a little more, but um, that's just the way I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I, I try to make a quality kit, I'm not gonna cut corners. So I'll provide the melanized gear. Like I said, this gear and that cam went together. Um, here's another melanized gear, and I, did, I bought this one recently. See the, see the, wear, the uh, texture of the gear on there. I bought this and I ran it inside an engine for less than an hour, or about an hour long. And you can see the wear pattern is very, uh, very slight. It's very smooth, not hardly any wear at all. All right, contrast that to another gear. So I ran this gear in the same end for about the same amount of time, about an hour. And you can see, this is a standard iron gear. A lot more wear. You can see the striations. Uh, striations are little lines in the metal, like a, like if you, uh, if you were to shoot a bullet out of a rifle gun, you get the striations on the side of the bullet. So it's little wear lines on there, and this was less than an hour runtime on this gear. It got rusted because I left it out in the rain, but after I took it out. But um, anyway, this gear is not a metalized gear. You see the the uh, surface of it is more like a machine steel part, and uh, so I will not use that gear. Um, the reason it's on that distributor is because, um, and this is why I'm doing this video. Summit Racing um, advertises this gear. This is Summit Racing part number 850468. The gear you just saw is this, is this Summit Racing gear. They advertise this gear as a melanized gear. But based on its appearance and the wear, the amount of wear on this gear, you can see the, uh, again, the wear was quite sub substantial. And that was less than an hour runtime. The wear, the appearance, the texture, I do not believe it is a melanized gear. And I've had some discussions with Summit Racing about it. And they, they insist that it is a metalized gear, but I told them I'm not gonna buy it. I want, my, I want a refund, I'm gonna send back my parts, or back these gears. I probably bought about 10 of them. And I'm gonna refund about, or return about half of them, and you know, use that money to buy the right gear, or buy a metalized gear. So um, I can still get the metalized gear, <clears throat> you know, some gear from a 1996 or later Chevrolet small block. So I'll be buying those gears and putting them on the distributors that I buy. So um, that's, uh, Basically, the story behind a metalized gear. Now, here's the difference. The uh, the uh, 4.3 V6s did not use a metalized gear. So this is a 4.3 V6 cam gear, or cam shaft, excuse me. So we can see, see the wear pattern here. Um, you can see the wear on this is a little bit more. It's wider. This is def this is a, is this a Marine cam? Yeah, this is a 324, so that's a Marine cam. This is a Marine Cruiser 4.3 V6 Marine cam and it did not use the melanized gear and its wear pattern is much wider I'm trying to see if i can show it better here 
it's really hard to get to the wear. Um, anyway, you see the, the wear pattern is larger, got striations on the, on the cam, but then on the distributor, this is the mating distributor that went on that cam. And you can see the wear pattern of these gears is much worse, much wider. Much, uh, you see striations all over the place. As a matter of fact, that gear's got a wear groove in it. That's where it's uh, want a groove in the gear itself. So on the V6s, General Motors does not use the metalized gear. I guess they're just counting on the gear being a sacrificial part and eventually the gear will wear out. So um, I thought I had a gear around here. I'm gonna go find it. I'll pause the camera and I'll go find the gear and show you a severe wear pattern. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a Merc Cruiser Thunderbolt distributor. You can tell from the terminal block that's an older style, uh, pre-1990 probably. And you can see this gear is just about slat worn out. This is the uh, V6 gear, and it was uh, this is not a metalized gear, and this is uh, basically a sacrificial gear. In time, it'll eventually wear down all, all the way to nothing. But this gear is almost gone. You can see that uh, most of the gear tooth is gone. So this, uh, I guess they're treating, this is on a Merc Cruiser, by the way, so I guess they're treating that gear as sacrificial and they let the gear wear out and then eventually have to replace it. But, um, so on the V6 kits, um, since that's what came factory, that's what I'm selling. But um, on the V8s, I'm providing melanized gears. Um, mainly because I've heard that the uh, steel gears will chew up a uh, camshaft if they're uh, on the V8s. I haven't heard the same thing about the V6s, but on V8s, I've heard that a non metalized gear will damage the cam on a uh, 1996 and later V8. So I'm gonna do the right thing and provide the metalized gear. All right, so that's uh, about it. I just uh, wanted to point out what a metalized gear was and uh, it's spelled L, it's spelled M-E-L-O-N-I-Z-E-D, melanized. And again, uh, if you look on Summit Racing's website and type in melanized, you may not be getting a melanized gear. I would not buy any gear except for General Motors to say melanized. Um, maybe MSD and uh, comp cams and all them have a melanized gear. They're pretty expensive, but um, don't don't go for the cheap melanized gears. This was like seventeen dollars, and uh, I don't believe it's melanized. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my reputation on it. So all right, um, that's all I want to say about the melanized gears. Uh, like I said, I include all a melanized gear on my V8 kits uh, for 1996 and later engine. And uh, that's going to cost more for the kit, but that's what I believe in doing and providing the right parts. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel if you find it helpful and hit the like button.